hours ago. <laughs> Unbelievable. I can't, we're sitting here talking about race, race car, ra race, <laughs> race car driving. Yes. Introduce yourself. I'm Allison Wagner, um, event coordinator for Laird Raceway. Where's Donnie Varco? He's working. He's oh, working. Donnie's Lots to do. Work. Two weeks away. I don't, I've never met him. I don't think I've ever met him, but I know the name. He's kind of like an. In, he's like infamous. He is. He is. He's a. How long has Donnie been around racing? Pretty much all his life, as far as I know. If you get down and talk to him about coffee, he would remind you about the old Fifth Line track, the oh. Hayden track, like back in the day. Allison, yeah. how did you get involved? Um, then the track opened in 99, I volunteered down there, then I took a hiatus with kids in school and stuff, and then um, I started going back watching, then we bought a car. Once we bought the car and we're running it, then I started working for Donnie last year. And so you've only been there for, you've been working for him for a year, but you've so, been racing for how long, sorry? Um, this is our fourth season with the car. Okay, and you're talking about getting another car now. We're talking about a second car for us, yeah. This, this is not, an, this is a non, a, a cheap hobby. <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's a labor of love we'll call it <laughs> so i was saying you know what cars are expensive it must, must be like riding horses and she said she has three horses too like my goodness horses we and do. cars you like yeah. things that go fast we do <laughs> and it's adrenaline rush absolutely. and it runs in the family your daughter my daughter 17 years old just about 17 yeah she's uh she's gonna step into the the four-cylinder car once rob moves up to the to something else once your husband moves up she's gonna step into the four-cylinder yeah. wild so uh what's going on earlier these days now so is, this is, is our the track open yet no, 21st. Our 21st is our first weekend. Okay. Um, Friday night we have a full bill of racing, five classes. Um, everything's going to start that that night. We're going to see all the talent back out to the track. Saturday's a follow-up with the enduro race, uh, the What's 22nd. What's the enduro race? So basically... Sounds like, you have, sounds like it goes on for a long time and you have to endure it. <laughs> it is. It's a 250 lap race. 200. Basically, it's as simple of if you want to know what it's like to get on the track, this is the time. You grab an old junker from the yard and everybody knows somebody who's got an old car sitting around. Anybody can get in an old Any car and just drive. Anybody, yeah. Look, there's a picture right there. There's is that a picture. Larry? Yeah. That's I've a, never been there. That is a factory class right there. Yeah. That's some of our those talent. Are like, those, are expen those are fancy cars. That is where you're getting fancy. That's our uh, modified mm. division, um, Michigan Modifieds. Michigan yeah, Modifieds? Why they call it the Michigan Modifieds? It's the body style, some of the rules. Um, that's just what they call them. That's what you're seeing there. Those are Michigan Modifieds too. Those are too. Modifieds too, yeah. Some, that's two of our local drivers. Did you, have you learned a lot in the two years you've been there, or did you already know a lot of stuff? So, it's, I've learned a husband. lot in a couple of years. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've watched racing all my life. Okay, are these junker cars like what? No, those no. are factory stocks again. What do you mean factory stocks? It's factory stock, it, it's a body style, it's a an engine size. Um, really? Each division has Like that red one in front looks like somebody just pulled it out of a junk heap. No, no, it's just been smacked up pretty it's good. It's been smacked up. <laughs> and fixed. So. And there would be our late model class. That is our highest division. Those look like they those, have huge engines. They do. Now those ones are moving. Those guys are, are. They fly? They're flying. They're eating up that track pretty quick. How, and that's fast our pass. Can, how fast can cars go on your track? That would have been a question you should ask Donnie. And I didn't think to ask ahead of time. But how fast um, have you ever gone? Or, or your husband? Bob, is that his so name? So Rob. Um, Rob. Sorry, sorry, Rob. I think Rob's right now sitting at doing the quarter mile or third mile, sorry, in uh, 17 seconds and change. And What does that mean? That's a four cylinder class. It's, so he's doing the whole loop of the, I'm sure you're going to see a picture kick up of the third mile track. He'll do it in just over 17, 18 seconds in that. And that's in the four cylinder class. So that's that's not that's even the slow. fastest. slow. That's the slower classes that gets progressively. Do you get nervous? When he races? Yeah. No. No. He's, What's he going to do? They're in a fire suit with a helmet and roll what? cage, and there's enough safety there that, uh, you know. Okay, that makes me feel better. And the track, the track is maintained by, is it like a club or is it a business? No, How does it's that a work? business. Laird, Laird Race Ray um, is a business. It's, we have some great staff, uh, some dedicated staff. Obviously, Lakeway staff as well helps out. And uh, they come down and they keep it clean and keep it going. And wow. They've been down there for the last uh, last few weeks actually painting. I, I don't know if anybody's looked at our Facebook page. Um, what's, the, what's it called? We can go there and So look. it's Laird Raceway. Um, it's our Facebook page. I posted a couple of preview pictures last night of some of the new paint jobs. And Ooh. 
Like when you paint jobs on the track itself, you um, mean, or some what? Of or the uh, railings, the railings, and oh, the announcers. Booth. Make it all announcers booth. Who does the announcing? Um, so you Spanky Robinson's been doing our announcing for <laughs> Wait, come years. On. Yeah. There's a guy named Spanky Robinson. <laughs> I love that. Spanky's I want him been, on the show. Spanky's been doing it for years. Um, we have a new uh, John's coming on this year to help out. Ooh. He's John McNack. If I say that okay. wrong, I apologize. I'm putting you on the spot. You are. I, I didn't ask any these questions in advance, but this is fun. <laughs> I'm learning so much. So he's coming on as well. He's He's gonna do some announcing. He actually ran a four-cylinder last year. Got the uh, so he knows the ins and outs. Got the itch, and now he's gonna stand up in the booth and keep hey. us all informed. What's it? So are there like? Oh, what's that picture? Are so there you the go. They found Did it you already. Paint all that? That's, that's the behind the announcer's booth. That is the flag stand in front. And this is a big deal. It is. That is. That's our new color for this year. Do these pictures fill up? Um, we we used to uh, back in the last few years. It's been a little quieter. Um, well, people need to get out there again. We did. We took a year off. We had um, <gasps> a year off hiatus, uh, and then they were switching the track over. Uh, different. Op we were going to try something different, and went back to the asphalt. Decided, hey, the asphalt's what works. What Why? did you try before? They were going to go dirt. Okay. Um, they were going to go dirt. Dirt um, would scare me. I feel like it <laughs> just gets sideways too you much. You both. So yeah. I'm glad it's back to asphalt. Me too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> And so we're going to get back there because, yeah, in the heyday, in the mid-2000s, we were definitely filling the stands. And Let's get back out there. So what kinds of, uh, so how many races would take place in one night, for instance? So most of our nights, it's a, we have the four classes, our four cylinders and our factory stocks uh, okay. that you saw, the modifieds and the late models. That's our usual uh, show bill. That's usually what we see going on. Um, this year we're bringing back uh, an old classic from from our previous years, the sportsman class. Sportsman class. So it's uh, anybody who runs or has watched any of the, the Upper Michigan tracks. It's also called an ABC class. So they're a higher end factory stock, basically not quite a late model car, but a faster. Um, vehicle, so we're going to run them. Uh, we're going to bring them back. There's something we did for a long time, and then yeah. kind of got away from it. Uh, went down to the four classes, and we're bringing it back. They're going to come back for four of our eight shows this year. Wow! And hopefully back there's, full time. So there's eight. Eight, eight basically dates? shows. Yeah, I have it here. I have my cheat sheet. Go ahead. Um, so June 21st, 22nd, obviously our okay, season opener, and then the enduro race. Is that like a? Is that, do you do something special on that long other weekend? So when that you first weekend, um, because the enduro kind of got bumped into it, and it's a that enduro race is a big long race. We're really not planning much more than the races. Let's get everybody out. Right. Um, and that's the one you said that anybody can get a junker and get on the get track and just try it out. The rules are on our website. The rules are on our Facebook page. Um, it's very minimal. Do you have to pre-register? I oh, pre-register. I'm trying to get the registrations in by this week. Uh, okay. Definitely so we know how many cars. It is 3,500 to win. So not always the fastest car is going to win this. Again, it's 250 laps. So right. Enduro, right? You have to endure this. The, it's not the first one across the line. It's the one who actually makes it there is going Wild. to be the <laughs> Okay, that's fun. Yeah. You mean you can win $3,500? Absolutely to win on this. So, so basically you got a car that'll go around, has some brakes, put a okay. put a, a roll cage in or just a safety device. So that's your season and opener. Yeah, that'd be the Saturday. Sounds like a blast. Then we go back into our regular season. Uh, yep. We have our late model rumble, which is July 5th. Okay. Um, so our ABC run for the flag, July 12th. We're going to... Run for uh, the flag. Yeah. They're I running. love they all these different themed <laughs> events, different kinds so of So the races. late model rumble on July 5th will the, be the late model feature event for the year. Okay. Again, with the ABC, that'll be your factory stock and our sportsman. That's their big race for the year. Okay. Then we have Modified Mattis, July 16th. Obviously, it's going to highlight the Modified class. Modified all the Madness. <laughs> Okay. Like that, eh? Yeah, I do. Just, do you do all this marketing stuff? Uh, some of it, Good yeah, for most you. of it. Okay, what else? So on um, the August long weekend, so it's actually the third, mm. fourth. Yeah. Um, <gasps> that is the long weekend in August. We are doing Race for the Cure. So this year we've decided, since we know many families here in the Sioux are affected, um, all money is going to go to the local autism. Hey, you should come back. Will you come back on the show before that, Allison? I and maybe bring Donnie with, Donnie with you? I'll try and drag and, him Or if, if he doesn't, we'll get somebody, because I want to promote that one again for autism. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So that's a big thing, and it hits a lot of people in the community. and. We all know the cuts, and we won't go into that because yep. uh, it's not fun. But yeah, so that's where all of the proceeds for that weekend are going. Okay, and that's a full weekend. Um, and then we have the four cylinder frenzy, which is August fifteenth. <laughs> so that's when the four cylinder guys are going to get out there and rock the track. And will your daughter be in the four cylinder by then? Do you think? I hope so. That'd I be hope cool. So um, we'll see how she gets out of second gear. <laughs> <laughs> 
August 23rd will be our championship night. That's when all of the championships will be handed out. Um, wow. See where the boys go for the year. Uh, right. That's what everybody's fighting for, right? And you go right into September. Yeah, we do. September 13th, 14th, and 15th. That is our invita North Star Invitationals weekend. Another big weekend. Got to come back for that one, too. I'll come back for that one, too. Um, we are actually doing mini wedges, uh, four-car dashes, heat classes. Then we have the Mike Parsons Late Model. A lot model. of this is just Greek to me. I don't really know what you're talking about. But That's okay. Hopefully the listeners do. If you're racers, do. you understand. Basically what it is, is we've lost some, some great race family over the years. This is our weekend to go out. <gasps> Honor them, uh, honor our families, um, our friends, obviously, Mike Parsons, Mike Ed Parsons. Wellwood, who we lost last year, Ed Wellwood. Ronnie Armstrong. This oh, is, uh, these are all guys are just paying all tribute guys. to. We're tribute to them, get out and enjoy it. Support so you, is this is this camping, food and entertainment, is that like a regular thing? Are there oftentimes activities so going oftentimes, on? Oftentimes, um, I, I do have a few guys staying for the first weekend, uh, coming from out of town yeah. for the enduro. Uh, definitely our... Race for the Cure weekend is yeah. going to be that camping, food, entertainment all weekend long. Let's let's. Okay, I gotta get out there. I should bring a camera. You should. A camera guy. We can go out and maybe we can get in a car. Can I get in a car? We can get you in a car. I gotta get in a car. Okay. So we, we have the Lightning McQueen car, who happens to be a two passenger late model. Uh -huh. uh, you saw the late model pictures. We, all right. I'm sure we can find. That's a date, Alice. It's a date. Thanks for being here. No problem. I gotta, we gotta we gotta wrap it up, but uh, you're gonna come back I'm again come back then and see you. in July and come back again in August too. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Laird Race by opening up on June 21st, yes, right? Yes, you got it. All right, get out there and check out the fun and we'll be back with Luann right after this. Mm -hmm.